It's three hours and 32 minutes until man begins the greatest adventure in his history. If all goes well, Apollo 11 astronauts, Armstrong, Aldrin, and Collins are to lift off from pad 39A out there on the voyage man always has dreamed about. So it is now, before they go, as their gleaming vehicle sits poised and peaceful out there, that there is time, uh, if only briefly in this busy morning, to think of those three men and the burdens and the hopes that they carry on behalf of all mankind. Boring through the vastness, the blackness, and the cold of space, they'll carry the pledge made eight years ago by President Kennedy to put a man on the moon and bring him back safely in this decade. Each segment of the mission, every individual piece has to be completed perfectly in order for the next step to be possible. And of course, the, the nation itself is backing us, so we just sincerely hope that we measure up to that. The whole Apollo program was designed to get two Americans to the lunar surface and back again to Earth safely. The enormity of this event is something that only history will be able to judge. Apollo 11 has very simply been given the mission of carrying men to the moon, landing them there, and bringing them safely back. For in addition to the mission the three astronauts will perform and the experiments they'll undertake, these men will carry with them many other things, many things that are not nearly so easy to describe. 38-year-old civilian Neil Alden Armstrong is to become the first human being to touch the moon. Aldrin will follow just 20 minutes later, but Armstrong will take that first step. The mission of Apollo 11, a journey certainly for the history books, the beginning of man's greatest adventure, leaving this planet to set foot on the moon. Switch is on, verify light. All stations stand by to give a crew departure status at this time. Leaving the go. The dawn of this day heralded the dawning of a new age. It's a time of exhilaration, reflection, hope, fulfillment, as a centuries-old dream starts toward reality.
T-minus 61 minutes on the Apollo 11 countdown and all elements are go at this time. Here in the firing room, the launch vehicle test team still keeping a close eye on the status of the propellants aboard the Saturn V launch vehicle. This problem with the leaking valve is uh, no problem at this time. We've actually bypassed the valve, but we uh, are maintaining our hydrogen supply aboard the vehicle. So that big swing arm that has been attached to the spacecraft up to now will be moved back now in five seconds. The swing arm will come back. Mark. CVTS is CSA 9. Arm 9 is retracted. minutes 30 seconds and counting all still going well with the countdown at this time for status report we'll now switch to mission control houston this is apollo mission control flight director cliff charlesworth's team is on station here in the mission operations control room ready to assume the control of this flight at tower clearance yeah all flight controller and up on order we passed the six minute mark in our countdown for Apollo 11. Now five minutes, 52 seconds and coming. We have some 7.6 million pounds of thrust pushing the vehicle upward, a vehicle that weighs uh, close to 6.5 million pounds. This is Apollo Saturn Launch Control, T minus 1 minute 35 seconds on the Apollo mission, flight to land, first men on the moon. Apollo, this is the launch operation of Manager, the launch team which is this launch and got Five seconds and counting. Past T minus 60. 55 seconds and counting. The alarm started to just report a back. It's been a real smooth countdown. We passed the 52nd mile. Power transfer is complete. We're on internal power with the launch vehicle at this time. 30 seconds away from the
Pressing ahead with their uh, transposition and docking maneuver, the uh, spacecraft, after having separated in the Saturn third stage, turning around, uh, docking with the lunar module, extracting the uh, lunar module from the Saturn third stage, and pushing ahead en route to the moon. Mother Earth is 206,059 nautical miles behind, coming up on the lunar orbit insertion burn in which the spacecraft will start its uh, initial orbit around the moon. That maneuver will slow the spacecraft down considerably from its present velocity and it should come from behind the east face of the moon 33 minutes later. This is, of course, the great day for mankind when we leave our planet Earth and set foot on the moon. So on this historic day, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin are in their lunar module, in their spacesuits. On this next pass, they are preparing uh, to undock. Both spacecraft looking very good at this time. The following revolution, uh, Revolution 13, Armstrong and uh, Aldrin, they will undock from the command and service module from which point the powered descent to the lunar surface will be initiated. Apollo 11, Houston, we are going for a dying over. Roger, good day.
Come now, step off the limb now. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for man. into lunar orbit, and following uh, that, the rendezvous sequence consummate, uh, completed with the docking at 128 hours, approximately. The crew jettisoned the limb at 130 hours, 30 minutes. We're now 10 seconds away from trans-Earth injection. Uh, they will burn their service propulsion system engine for 2 minutes, 28 seconds to start them on their way back to Earth. Apollo 11's distance now is 3,000 nautical miles, velocity 26,685 feet per second. In the next 20 minutes, Apollo 11 will add almost 10,000 feet per second to that figure. Entry at uh, 75 statute miles, beginning blackout at 62 statute miles, and main chute deployment 10,500 feet.
300 feet tall, fitted together with a precision better than the finest watch, carrying all the equipment needed for propulsion, guidance, control, communication, food, and survival on an untried mission to an unknown celestial body, and then return it safely to Earth, re-entering the atmosphere at speeds of over 25,000 miles per hour, causing heat about half that on the temperature of the sun, almost as hot as it is here today, and do all this, and do all this, and do it right, and do it first, before this dictator's out, then we must be born. Space is there, and we're going to climb it. And the moon and the planets are there, and new hopes for knowledge and peace are there. And therefore, as we set sail, we ask God's blessing on the most hazardous and dangerous and greatest adventure on which man has ever embarked. Thank you.